Welcome to Cardiff. Now, normally when we film these videos, we take a very in-depth look at the whole venue scene and the supporting infrastructure to give the event organizer of the modern age all the information they need to get their events happening in the way they want. But today we're doing something slightly different. We're gonna be taking a very deep dive into something that's very close to the locals' hearts, or should I say, close to their stomachs. Cardiff is fast becoming a thriving food and drink destination, with initiatives across the city aiming to forge a Cardiff food story, which features independent businesses, locally sourced produce, and accessible street food. Faye Tanner is Commercial Partnership Manager at Cardiff Council, and she says food has become a pillar of the city's future planning as an events destination. So Cardiff is incorporating our strengths in food and drink and local sourcing into our future planning. Our venues understand the importance of sustainability and offering a unique difference to the event organiser in some of our unique venues. Delegates can either decide to eat in venue or they can do a dine around which they can go to various restaurants in the city and experience the atmosphere. But also we have um, tasting tours as well which is also a great experience. The slogan about town is that the Cardiff food scene is more than just Welsh cakes and brains beer. Neris Howell runs the Howell Food Consultancy and is a Welsh food specialist, so who better to tell us more? I think there's been a resurgence in uh, independent restaurants, artisans and producers over the last few years. So we've got a, quite an eclectic mix now of the historically uh, we've been known maybe for the larger chains, but now there's been a resurgence in these independents which are offering amazing a sort of uh, Welsh food and drink offer in, in a way uh, with their different takes on it. So uh, many of them have started from pop-ups, so the uh, street food um, and the depot locations have been instrumental in this, as well as the award-winning Riverside Farmers Market. Um, so they've come from there, they've been really popular and have now moved into permanent locations. And there's many of them are dotted across not just the city but the fringes of the city. Um, you've got like artisan bakeries such as the Danish bakery Broad, and you've got Petty Crews, you've got Alex Gooch, um, you've got re independent restaurants such as Bullies, uh, Heaney's, uh, the Heathcock, uh, Thomas, and lots of these are actually using uh, local food and drink as a core uh, part of their offer really, which is really exciting and really gives you a flavour of Cardiff and surroundings and, and Wales further afield really. So how has Neris been working with Meet Cardiff to improve the delicate experience when it comes to event catering? Food is essential, really, to anybody's experience of a city, isn't it? Um, and so I've been working on a project called Wales Food Destination, and that's a project that supports businesses to source, serve and sell more local food and drink. So we've been work working with Meet Cardiff, um, offering a number of workshops face-to-face um, -face and online during COVID, encouraging these businesses and the hospitality sector to source more local food and drink. Um, we do this by telling them where to source the food and drink, what food and drink is available, how they can get hold of it. Um, also looking at menu development and maybe encouraging them to revisit their menus to offer more seasonal menus with local food and drink. We've also worked with um, Food Cardiff. Uh, they've just won an award for a uh, silver award for Sustainable Food City, which is really exciting. Um, so we're working with these businesses to uh, focus on their purchasing and show them how they can purchase local food. You know, we're in Cardiff Market at the moment, and I know many of the independents actually source their produce, their fish, their meats, their vegetables from the market, which, which is fantastic, really. So what does the venue scene itself look like? This is Cardiff Castle, located right in the heart of the city, and it dates back to the Norman Conquest over a thousand years ago. However, this part of the castle, which dates back to the 1800s, can be hired out for conferences and meetings for about 100 people. To experience such an exclusive environment is to experience an important piece of history. 
So what other venues are on offer? Cardiff has some wonderful venues. Um, one, for example, is the Exchange Hotel based in Cardiff Bay. It's the original coal exchange building and it was where the first million pound transaction for coal took place. So it has a lot of history and its grand suite is really amazing with its wooden panels. Or if you're looking for something more contemporary, there's the Royal Welsh College of Music and Drama. This is a wonderful building that overlooks Butte Park and the aspect out of their atrium is amazing. You can hold about 200 for dinner in this area, but also you can experience some of the um, entertainment that the students of the university can offer for your event. So Cardiff has some really quirky venues that an organiser could book for their business event. Um, one in particular is uh, TechniQuest. It's a science centre which is based in Cardiff Bay overlooking the water in the bay. Um, it's got a lovely aspect but it also has the uniqueness of having a conference in a planetarium or even uh, amongst the exhibits within the main area which just gives that little bit more of an interest to your overall event. So we've got the food in order but are the city's hotels and venues ready to welcome delegates back once more? Mark Gallagher, Cluster General Manager at Voco St David's Hotel and Spa, says absolutely yes. Cardiff opened really confident, uh, occupants in, in the city uh, are really buoyant. You know the restaurants, the bars, occupants in the hotels are all very busy and I think now we're really confident that we can deliver those business events that the city is looking to achieve over the coming year. Have venues adapted to the new working environment in this new era? I think we have. We've learned a lot over the last year, as you can, as you can imagine. There is a new way of working. There's a new um, experience that people want uh, from business events. Um, it's not just the venue or the, or the, or the hotel. It's the, it's the whole city and the whole, the whole experience. And I think as a city, we have really pulled together. We have a very great network between the local tourist uh, board and the hoteliers association and all the venues, etc. So we keep all of ourselves informed of all the changes that are happening in the business. And we've really adapted to you know, every business event that now comes in, we have to risk assess it as, as much as we risk assess our, our own business um, and give the, give the client the confidence that their, that their business event is really be go going to be delivered with some real success and, and the passion of, of the Welsh people. Meet Cardiff has been planning during the pandemic with the development of digital tools and industry support in preparation for the relaunch of business events. Faye says that Meet in Cardiff has been working with its Cardiff Conference Ambassadors to influence bookers to choose the destination. So we feel that having a thriving ambassador programme is really key to uh, a destination and Meeting Cardiff has an ambassador programme that is able to support um, ambassadors but also business event organisers to the city. The business community needs support whatever the sector and we're able to do that but also offer information in regards to flexibility in booking venues but also for cancellations which is very important at the moment. Virtual was obviously an important part during Covid but we understand that people want to be social and get back to the office and being part of a business event and networking is key. At the end of the day, all organisers want to create an amazing experience for their delegate and Mark says it doesn't get much better than it does in Cardiff Bay. Well, you can see behind me what an amazing bay we've got in Cardiff. You know, there's loads to do. Um, you know, you can see the Ferris wheel and, and all, the, all the venues round about us. But, you know, on top of that, we, are, we are, have a rich culture of food and drink in, in Wales. As you know, our provenance, our sustainable produce is world renowned. And, and that's something that we should really push to, to delegates coming to a, for, for a business event. They can enjoy some of the best produce, not only in the UK, but across the globe and take advantage of the, the real passion that Welsh and, and Cardiff people have for, for the produce in its, in its locale. To learn more about meeting in Cardiff, visit meetcardiff.com.